There isn't much that will grow in hard, compacted or clay soils, but this tool here makes breaking it up a whole lot easier than any other tool I've ever used. G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and in this video, I want to introduce you to the prong, a type of garden tool that helps break up soil. I want to show you what I do when I'm typically planting a fruit tree or some plants in the garden and I have to plant it into a hard surface or where there's clay and how I just break it up first to give that tree or plant the best start possible. Let's get into it. Now, like I said, I just want to introduce you to the prong. I don't want this video to be all about it, although it sort of is. I want to concentrate on what I actually do to plant a fruit tree into a spot that is really compacted and clay. But at the same time, I'm going to just give you a bit of a insight into this because next year i'm going to do a proper video on this tool and its family of tools this is the medium sized one it's actually called the son of prong whereas this yellow one behind me which is much bigger like a crowbar that's the actual long prong and then there's a white one or it first of all came out as a pink one called the lady prong and this white, white one is the same size it's called the general prong and can be used for all the same things, obviously just different strengths, depending on how big the job is, of course, and what type of thing you need to do with it. So what I'll do is I'll bring you in closer, we'll scrape away the topsoil here, and I'll give you a look at what we're faced with, and then we'll get stuck into improving that patch of soil before we can plant anything in it. Well, that was pretty hard work as you could see and I deliberately used the shovel there because I wanted to demonstrate how hard it's going and that was getting through the topsoil. So the topsoil is fairly rubbish but still it's penetrable and it's still fairly loose. But then you get down about four inches and you're hitting, see that red stuff? That's the start of the clay and that's like concrete. Then the digging gets tough. I mean, you can use a mattock and a hoe, but it's still really tough going. But using a prong is the perfect tool for this type of situation. The plant to establish growing, they need to throw down their tap root that goes down and anchors that plant to the ground. And you can imagine how hard that would be to get through that tough clay or that compacted soil. And most fruit trees and even ornamentals just simply can't do it and they will struggle to grow. It really does need to be broken up. So I'll show you now what I mean by using this prong. Now see what I mean? See how different this is to a crowbar? I've snapped plenty of spades and garden forks by trying to dig into rocky ground or clay and this is still hard work. Mind you, that is a, a heavy bar and it's meant for really robust work but it really does cut through because it's that slim crowbar type of tool with that prong on the end that foothold allowing you to push down on it but it also can help you lever it without having to have something else underneath that crowbar or shovel or or whatever you're using to try to lever out it's a very simple design but very clever look at that terrible stuff actually clay can be quite good there's lots of nutrients in here the problem is it's just locked up and it's really hard as concrete when it's dry and then as you know 
it gets all sticky and wet and no air or anaerobic when it's wet but if you can break it up it's actually not bad soil add some organic matter to it perhaps a little bit of gypsum but we'll talk about that later and you can actually turn a bit of crappy ground into a good planting spot that gives the tree a good start and the thing is sometimes especially for some hardy trees like citrus and stone fruits all that tree needs is a good start once you give it a good start then it will actually penetrate and use that clay soil to its advantage as long as that tap roots fine it will send out feeder roots close to the surface especially citrus from my experience because we're all on clay here and then they will flourish like nothing but it's the start that's the problem and if you can conquer the start with one of these tools to break it all up your tree is going to be very happy it's going to grow faster and well for you and produce you can see it's not a very big tree but we've got quite a large hole and i did that for a purpose when you're digging into clay like this you don't want to just make the hole the same size as the plant i mean you don't do that even in normal soil but clay especially because what ends up happening is if you just planted this in the sort of the same sized hole or even twice the size you could imagine that'd be like sitting in a in a sealed clay pot in the ground and when it rains that water will find that low point and that plant will sit in that water because that clay will take a long time for the water to drain through and essentially it'll get waterlogged and that's not good for most trees unless i don't know you're growing rice or something digging the hole nice and big gives us more room to be able to dispel and leach out all that water that might gather in that low point and then when this tree gets a good start on it'll find its own way and break through the clay and spread its feeder roots out and become well established and then that clay won't matter as much the next thing I'm going to do is add a bit of gypsum, calcium sulfate. Now there's some conjecture about using gypsum on clay. It's specifically a clay breaker and it will, what it does is it combines clay particles together and that makes the water easier to go through and penetrate. So once you break the clay up, you then throw a little bit of this stuff in um, and it's supposed to help with water penetration and to break it up. However, it can also deplete the soil of some minerals and nutrients. It does add calcium to the soil, and there are some people saying that it's not necessary. I tend to think it does help it in a little way, but if you're in doubt, do a bit of research on it yourself and find out whether or not there are tests you can do whether gypsum might help in your area or not. But what I'm gonna do is just add a few handfuls. I'm not gonna go overboard just in there just to hopefully help break that soil up a little bit. That's all I'm going to add, two handfuls. I'm going to mix in a whole bunch of compost. This cheap mix here, about $3.50. It's pretty good value actually. It comes with a little bit of fertilizer in the bag as well and some wetting agent, which is pretty cool. But in lieu of our own compost, which I don't have any more of at the moment, this is a, is a good thing. It's got bark and everything through it, and it will help. But I'll show you a few other additives after this that also can help. And of course, I would encourage you to use your own compost and mulch and other things to help break up that soil. Now I'm going to bring that top soil that I took off back onto here. Now I'm going to plant this Brazilian cherry smack bang in the middle there. And to also break up that 
soil well to help break up the soil and to give it a good feed and a great start i'm going to give it some animal manure this is really well rotted and old chicken manure here that we've got from our own pile i'm going to put that around the base of the plant and that will also penetrate the soil over time as well worms will grab it bring it back down and that'll help keep that soil permeable so that when it does rain you're going to have the water go through penetrate the root system rather than running straight off that hard surface that we dug through. Mixed up in here are some wood chips as well. This is a sugarcane mulch, comes packaged. It's a commercial stuff. It's very good, excellent, it's seed free, but you can use anything for mulch really. You can use grass clippings or wood chip leaves. You can use a whole lot of things. This will protect that soil, it'll keep it moist as that young plant is trying to grow. It again will keep that soil permeable to rain. The mulch will break down over time and add to that soil. And that's typically how I break through clay soil and it's also an introduction to the prong that I've been testing for a while and like I said I'll bring you next year a proper review and all the different uses you can use this thing for. It's quite a unique tool and full disclosure if you go to the prong store which the link is below in the description and also in the comment section I'll pin it to the top there and if you buy one of these products in the USA or in Australia I also get a small kickback, a small commission. Uh, so this video isn't sponsored, but it's like an affiliate type setup. So uh, yeah, if you buy it, it doesn't cost you anything extra. I just get a small kickback and it helps the channel out. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I tried to combine a sort of something that I wanted to give a bit of a plug, but also uh, something that I thought you might find interesting since we live in a very heavy soil type situation and you know I can grow a lot of good produce and that's typically the way that I give a good fruit tree off or a fruit tree off to a good start. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.